Hello everybody, welcome to InventBox. In this video, I will be teaching you about something called pulse width modulation, and it is a type of digital signal that is used all throughout electronics. One application is controlling the brightness of an LED. You could also use pulse width modulation to vary the speed of a motor in a robot or a remote control car or something and it has some other uses you can use pulse width modulation even to communicate data in some examples so I want you to think back to our blink example one of the first videos I think where we just had this blue LED uh, blinking on and off uh, so that is actually kind of it could be a very very slow form of pulse width modulation but really it's what you would call a square wave and a square wave is the simplest of digital signals or it's kind of just a general term of any time you have a signal that is uh, jumping between zero volts and fully on which on, on this board is 3.3 volts and it looks like a square wave because of the immediate transitions there is no point where the voltage is anything except for off and 3.3 so it appears to graphically uh, look like a series of squares now just looking at this you can see that the amount of time that the signal is on is approximately half of the complete cycle which a cycle is defined by well just generally speaking any time that you get back to the same place you started is when you know you've done a complete cycle so let's say we look at the rising edge as the beginning of a cycle then the next cycle starts at the next rising edge since the on time is exactly half of the complete cycle, you would call this a 50% duty cycle. That is, um, it is providing power 50% of the time, or it's doing work 50% of the time. We can change that though. Uh, we can vary the duty cycle by increasing or decreasing the amount of time that the signal is in the on state however we don't change the total cycle time total cycle duration and you know that way uh, we can represent the amount of power that it would be delivering as a percentage so 75 percent means that um, the signal is on for 75 percent of the cycle duration so if the cycle lasted 10 microseconds, then the pulse width is 7.5 microseconds. Once the cycle, or once the duty cycle reaches 100%, as you can see, this uh, as we increase duty cycle, this little off square is getting smaller and smaller. So once you hit on 100%, it will be a flat line, all green. And likewise, a 0% duty cycle is a flat line in the off state. So you can see how this would be used to drive an LED um, as long as your frequency is faster than 60 Hertz the human eye will perceive a blinking light as a constant glow and the brightness would be determined by what percentage of time is spent in on versus off. I said you could also use this to control a motor. Obviously with a motor it has nothing to do with how your brain perceives it, but uh, since a motor has inertia, whenever the coils are activated in the on state and the motor starts to move, when the coils turn off, the motor continues moving uh, until the next on transition uh, because the inertia keeps it going forward. 
and so also with motors you can change the amount of power delivered and also change the speed without ever having to provide a voltage other than fully on or fully off which digital devices really like that so let's do this in um, the MicroPython code I guess we can just import pin and we'll also get PWM that module um, is what we will be using and learning how to use in this tutorial. I have an LED connected to pin 4 and to use the PWM you just create create an instance of the PWM class and give it a pin. That's it. And immediately you can see the LED is turned on. But actually it is not on all the way. This is currently running at a 50% duty cycle, which means it's at half brightness. And I can prove this to you by changing the duty cycle. Now, the arg it just takes one argument, the duty cycle you want to change it to, but it's not a number between 0 and 100, or between 0 and 1. It's actually between uh, 0 and 1023, which the reason for that is it's a 10-bit precision PWM. 10 bits, so that'd be like 2 to the 10th power is 1024 where that number comes from. So right now it should be running at a duty cycle of 50%, which is 512, half of 1023. If I set it to 1023, the brightness will jump up and we can see the LED was actually not at full power. And likewise, we could change it to something much lower like 100, which that's about 10% brightness there. So we can mess with this and it's pretty fun. The other thing we can do is change the frequency. I'm not sure what it's running at right now, maybe around two kilohertz or something, way faster than the human eye or the camera can see. If I drop this down to about 30, I can see that the LED is blinking, but on the camera, it looks solid. Let me bring the duty cycle back up a little. If I drop it even farther, now it appears to flash on the camera, and obviously I can see it's blinking too. The lowest that the frequency can be is 1, which ironically allows us to make an LED blink on and off, like the first tutorial, uh, except this time it runs in the background, so there's no while loop. Uh, and we can continue doing other things with Python code, which is nice. So there you go. Yet another way to make an LED blink. The last thing I want to do uh, with you guys is show how you can fade um, an LED on and off using pulse width modulation. And we're not going to learn any new um, special PWM methods or anything. We're just putting together some things we already know, and using a little bit of math. So I will be using a infinite loop, and then I'll be calculating the duty cycle based on a sine wave, which is, which if you don't know what a sine wave is, pretty much just a smooth wave that swings up and then swings down and then swings up. You'll see what it looks like. So start by using the math.sign function and using having it be based off of time.ticks current number of milliseconds and we'll divide that by 1000 to get the current number of seconds. 
Now, a sine wave actually swings from negative one to positive one, so we want to add one to everything, so we can make sure we don't have negative numbers. And then I'll take this whole thing and multiply it by 512, so that in the end, the duty cycle will swing from uh, zero to 1,023. And finally, I will convert it into an integer because that's what the duty method requires. And then we just set the duty cycle. I might delay a little bit, go 10 milliseconds, and So this is actually a, a function. I always forget that. It's not a standard function. It's something they added in MicroPython. All right, there you go. Um, oh, it looks like we have the frequency extremely low still. That's pretty weird. set this to about a thousand. There we go. That's what I was after, uh, fading on and off just like a Mac. Very nice. So you could use the same signal to make a motor spin, speed up and slow down like that. Um, but that is pulse width modulation. Thank you for watching.